the debut of GCW here in Colorado. Bout set for one fall. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Game Changer Wrestling. We are coming to you live from Golden, Colorado. The Jefferson County Fairgrounds, the Quarry, the Denver Market, folks. My name is Dave Prezak. Out of Huntsville, Alabama, with an official weight of 150 pounds, the Beamer Boy, Hunter Dre. His name is Hunter Drake, your first competitor. You're in your opening contest of the evening here at GCW Lights Out on Triller TV Plus. Kicking off a three event loop during the next three nights, all live right here on Triller. Denver, Los Angeles, and Phoenix. Returning to GCW competition, Gino Rivera. Hunter Drake before the referee could even call for the opening bell before ring jackets were even removed. Rivera all over Hunter Drake in the corner. This is our second look at Gino Rivera here in Game Changer Wrestling Competition. Made his GCW debut back at our first event in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Breaking GCW as MLJ has joined me in the booth and Hunter Drake firing up on yep. Rivera. He sure is, and let me tell you, it's an electric atmosphere here at the quarry. I like the, the fairgrounds. I like the quarry here at the Jefferson County Fairgrounds in Golden, Colorado to be specific. Yes, indeed. The Denver area. The metropolitan area still counts. Yes. And uh, look at this, Hunter Drake. Trying to give it back to Gino. The bell, is that yeah, what happened? I mean, I, as I was leaving, I heard. That's exactly what happened. Rivera didn't want to waste any time, but Hunter Drake is the one in control right now. He's got Rivera down in the corner, but rolls to the floor before any further damage can be done. Timeout, you're not going to get it. Gino should have kept on walking around ringside. Yeah, Hunter Drake. Connecting with the topes in someone's lap now. Poor Gino Rivera. You know, it's a pretty good guess I had what happened in the beginning. I just heard commotion and booze. That's, that's, it's a very good guess on your part. It's very accurate. The booze. <laughs> the booze the tipped, you, it tipped you off. Yeah. Yes. Well, it looked like Rivera was just luring Hunter Drake into that trap. It, it's like he slipped on a banana peel, but it was the ring skirt. Yeah. Sent down across the chest from Rivera, but Hunter Drake kicks out. Referee Dan Perch right on top of the action for this opening contest. I'll tell you what, Gino Rivera, uh, you mentioned this is the second time we're looking at him. He, he looked uh, really good, even though he uh, wound up losing to uh, Jordan Oliver at breaking GCW, but that was a, a hell of a match. That's very impressive, and he's also uh, Whoa. given a lot of knowledge to the younger generation of talent from that part of the country as you have a cover. Drake able to kick out again. Rivera also a training influence. Yeah. And, and, and the thing, what I like about Gino Rivera, I mean, there's 
to be honest, there's not much to like about him. Uh, his disposition, you know. Just choking his opponent. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, you, you never know what, what he's going to bust out. Like like that handspring uh, hip attack that he just did in the corner. I very gifted athletically, but now just using the, uh, it's a variation of the back rake, but it's a chest rake. Digging the fingernails into the flesh of Hunter Drake. Now just placing Hunter Drake on that middle rope. What's he going to do here? Oh, just slid across the back of his head. Did Gino Rivero. Landing on his feet out on the floor. Taking a lot of time before getting back inside the ring. Might want to stay on your opponent. That's exactly what he's doing right now. Finally going for the cover. Not hooking the leg, man. Only a two count. He didn't hook the leg, but he sure, certainly pushed that forearm right into the orbital bone. That doesn't feel good. Not at all. Orin Veidt returns to Game Changer Wrestling tonight to take on the King, Nick Gage. That will be your main event tonight at Lights Out. That's a hell of a welcome back to GCW after about two and a half years. Oh, yeah. Oh, More athleticism this. right there from Rivera. Hunter Drake went for that kick but couldn't connect. It looked like a handful of hair right there from Rivera. Gets a warning from Dan Perch. He's claiming that his hair was pulled first. And I mean, I, sure, anything goes in GCW, but trying to lay down the law. He's a lying. Some, some decorum here for Dan Perch. Yeah, but Gino Rivera just straight up lying. Yeah, well, what do you expect? Well, that is true. Now the conventional back rake. Lots of fingernail-based offense here from Gino Rivera. Oh, look at this. He's using his forearm and his wrist tape in the eyes. It is sort of innovative. I haven't seen that too frequently in wrestling, but very effective. It's taken away the vision of Hunter Drake. The fans encouraging him to get back up. He's got to be getting under the skin of Gino Rivera. Scoops him up. Lamps Hunter Drake with the body slam. Off the ropes comes Rivera. Oh. Bottom of his boot again, targeting the eyes. Well, if you can't see it, can't really wrestle that well, can you? Very true. Just ask Jake Roberts. <laughs> old arrogance. Just mocking Hunter Drake. I wouldn't mind if he sprayed some of that stuff around here. Right now off the ropes comes Hunter Drake. Gets chopped right down to the mat. And now he's got a grounded Hunter Drake in like a rear waist lock here. Almost like a... Uh, Reverse bear hug, yeah. trying to squeeze the life out of his opponent, make it very difficult for Hunter Drake to even get back to his feet, much less breathe in this position. Trying to fight out of it with an elbow. That's the thing with Hunter Drake. He's, he's the taller man in this situation. He's able to get his legs underneath him. He was able to get to his vertical base. Several elbows now from Drake. Fights free of that bear hug. I'd argue if they were the same height, Gino Rivera would still be having that rear waist, waist lock in. Very true. Ooh. Kick to the side of the head of Rivera. Combination here from Hunter Drake with the double stomp across the back. I don't think he's done. Standing shooting star press from Hunter Drake. Right on top of Gino, but he can't hold him down for three. Rivera able to kick out still in this matchup. Murphy just reminding Hunter Drake it was only two. Very close. Drake's back on his feet, as is Gino Rivera. And he's going to hop up onto Gino's back as Hunter Drake. What's this? Oh, staying on his feet. Mm. Boot to the face of Drake. Rivera off the second rope. Wow. Into the Rana. He went around the man to nail that Rana. Boot to the face of Drake now. Back first down to the mat. And Rivera with all of his body weight crashing down on the chest. Once again with a senton. That was a heavy senton, too. Oh, so close. But Hunter still in this fight. I, I mean, a lesser man would have been down for the three. That was a hell of a flurry of offense from Gino Rivera. The Hunter Drake is a determined wrestler to pull out the win here in Denver. Crowd getting behind Hunter Drake, and Rivera is going to go up top, it looks like. I feel like he's taking a little bit too much time, though. He's showing off the brains, though. Pointing to his head, pointing to the sky, pointing at random people in the crowd. It's all this pointing, man. 
We'll see if it pays off for Gino Rivera. All the way from the top rope, nobody home, but rolls through. Hunter Drake rolls him up. He's got the O'Connor roll, no. Got a near fall. Roll up once again. Get a near fall. Oh, he caught him in the back of the head with a knee right there. Yeah, Gino Rivera not loopy. Meanwhile, Hunter Drake is fired up. Looking to the support of the people. Standing on the back of Rivera once again. Into the code red. And that's three. Hunter Drake scores the victory. The winner of the match, Hunter Drake. Hunter Drake gets his hand raised here in your opening contest. A game changer wrestling lights out. Still a whole lot more to come on tonight's broadcast. Ovation for Hunter Drake.